Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have been, let's just say, spoiled. <laughs> um, one of the great things about doing what I do is companies reach out to me and they like to send me product and it's even better when you get to choose the product. So two of the companies that I collaborate with are Craft Stash and Arteza and Craft Stash reached out to me um, a few weeks ago now and asked if I'd like to choose some product for myself and show you guys create with it have fun with it just as I would with any other purchase products that I would buy so, so here I have my order from Craft Stash. Craft Stash are a huge online craft company in the UK and I've shopped with them regularly they're you know they're great so they offer like I said a huge variety of things so I have chosen this here First up, I have the Apple Blossom. Now this is a bundle, so you get these five stamps together here. So you've got the Garden Party Birthday. And this one just, I think was brilliant. I love the barbecue. And you've got the little sausage there on the fork. You've got the lawnmower, it says happy birthday and many mower. <laughs> have a smoking birthday. And then you just got all these lovely little gnome there. I like these here with the garden lights. So you get that one. Then I've got the relaxing garden retreat. So this is really nice. You've got the hammock, your birds, your trees. You've got this nice like um, wooden, uh, I don't know what you would call that. It's almost like the, some kind of like awning, like the corner of like a summer house or something. And that's just the vines growing up the side of it. You got the champagne and the champagne flutes. That there is your kind of foliage to put on the tree. And then take easy, that's take it easy. That's a really nice font there and that little squirrel, like that one. This one here is Spring Countryside. So you've got Don't Let Life Ruffle Your Feathers and Chase Your Winter Blues Away. And you've got a little ladybird feathers here and that lovely wreath, the little nest, little birds. It's just really pretty. This one here, I loved because of the hedgehog and it says no matter how long the winter spring is sure to follow and it says my special friend you've got a nice bow and then the flowers and blooms and things there so that's cute and then this one here is another favorite this is lazy summer garden i love you've got the chairs here with the table and then again you've got take it easy similar images some of these are doubled from other ones here but it says here happiness is and then you've got all these lo lovely subtitles you've got a lazy day a new home a summer wedding relaxing with friends enjoying your retirement a sunny summer birthday so you've got so many different occasions that you can use that stamp set for i thought that was brilliant so that's going to get used a lot so that's the ones from apple blossom like i said that's a bundle then I think these are possibly my favourite. Daisy May designs are beautiful anyway. I follow Daisy May. She makes absolutely wonderful creations. These are just amazing. So this is, these are stamp and die bundles. So the first one here is Welcome Cottage Stamps. You get this lovely sized stamp here. All of this is photopolymer along with the apple blossom ones as well you get home sweet home and have a beautiful day and you've got welcome home so you can use that again for a few different occasions and then you get the matching die there as well and that just makes life really easy so beautiful so that is a bundle so you can buy those two together then the other one here is the bloom and grow you've got the little toadstools and it just says there just because and then you've got bloom and grow and you've got the dies to match that as well. I can't wait to color all of this in. You know I love coloring my stamps, which is why I was excited to receive these. And then this one here, I can't believe how big it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. You get this gorgeous bouquet here, and you get like the, the mason kind of jar. You've got this lovely bow and then more florals. So you can, this one here is this one here. So you can have it almost like decoupage. So it lifts up. And again, with the leaves, these leaves will fit on here. And you've got happy birthday and full bloom. And then you get the lovely dyes there to match it. Beautiful. Again, can't wait. It's so satisfying when you've colored all that to then just be able to die cut the whole thing. And it looked nice with these bits that are lifted to give that decoupage look. That is gonna make a stunning card and I can't wait to use that one. So again, that was another bundle. Then I chose these ones here. So this is the Craftwork cards. This one I love because of the embroidery. So you get the embroidery hoop and the die to cut it. And then all of these stamps here are to make it look like it's stitched. So you, again, I don't know how well that's picking up, but you can probably just about see it there. But it gives the illusion that it is actually stitched. So again, you've got all these little bits to die cut them and you can just create lovely little 
images there and I love that font on the happy birthday and the just for you so again can't wait to use that one and then this one here is the again stamp and die set grand floral rose that one was called embroidery and again you've got that layering here so you would stamp this one first which is your background in the lightest color and then you've got your detail here which would be your second and then your outline there which would be your last stamp and that would be in, be in the darkest colour really so you layer them up as, and you know layer those as well again a really nice sentiment there nice font and you can cut them all out and this one here is a nice gift tag so you can frame that on that tag which will look really nice then I picked up this embossing folder which is a really nice 6x6 embossing folder and this is of all the handbags and this one I've got to go with the fashionista but it's got the perfume bottles and everything and I thought that would work quite well with this which leads me on nicely to this huge A4 stamp set and again the reason I chose this one and that I love it so much is these are just such big plain stamps they're going to look beautiful just with some very light water colouring just to give a nice little kind of blend just a wash almost this one here is obviously a very famous perfume bottle along with that one as well and both I have so <laughs> I can get my colours right for those which would be good but you've got the nice little designer handbags but I love the sentiments on this I think they are absolutely brilliant behind every fabulous woman is a beautiful handbag shoes are a girl's best friend you are oh so glam a girl can never have too many shoes for the beautiful birthday girl have a beautiful day have a gorgeous day birthday wishes love to shop and then you've got be classy and fabulous a girl can never have too many handbags and time to sparkle well i think many of us can relate to these or have someone that that is going to work brilliant for and i just thought that is fantastic and it's timeless it's something that will get used over and over again and this one here when i saw it i thought how good would that look in red and it can be the uh, ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz and you've got the little lips there as well that lovely bow yeah it's just brilliant and I cannot again wait to create some lovely cards with these and then I've got these last two pieces so I've got the Ducrass Paper Mania Sweet Treats and this is the 48 pack this is the ultimate die cut and paper pad and in here so I peeled off the back it's just stuck on the back here I just peeled that off and you have if I do it that way so these sheets here are all pre die cut so you can pop out and these are all little circle alphabet letters and numbers as well is there numbers in well? yeah you've got everything else at the bottom then this one here is really nice again you just pop them out so you've got a really nice font there and then you've got numbers and the rest of the the, the alphabet there on the other page these are all kind of like little tags and again they're all pre-die cuts so you make them up so I've been making projects with these and these pieces slide inside and then you pull them out so it will have to and from on them. It's that sweet treat theme running through, that was a mouthful and these are a lot of the treats that I had as a little girl, I still enjoy now as well. These are your bows, really lovely to make up, they're going to finish off gift bags perfectly and these are just some nice kind of strips here with just the same patterns that run throughout the collection and this is when we get to the fun stuff so these are the sweets that I like I said still kind of enjoying you've got the custard creams you've got bourbon biscuits you've got the pink wafers you've got a rich tea finger you've got the iced rings you've got a jammy dodger or jam dodger another iced ring what's this one here I can't remember what this one is here if I bring it up a little bit it's like a shortbread isn't it it's a shortbread biscuit again I remember eating them but pretty much everything here is my childhood in terms of treats so yeah really nice although I still love, I love uh, bourbon biscuits now you've got these lovely gift tags I just think they're really really fun and I've got some really great ideas to do gift bags and gift boxes with these things I think they're going to look great and then here are tiny little gift boxes so this is like a little it almost looks like the style you will get I think it's just a standard box or it could be like a milk carton I'm not sure but then you've got your tags so this is perfect if you're doing a party everything is here for your little party favours you've got a daughter or even your you know your son and you you know they're going to have lots of sweet treats to take away how nice to put them in these little um little boxes here so you've got the others here so that's the same and then again here just with different designs you've got all these extras that you can stick on them so you get two of each design or each pattern and then these here, these look like they're all little tags in some way. I might have to have a little look on how they intend. Or oh, well, these here are your 
um, hole punch kind of protectors so ring protectors ring protectors you would fold them over and I guess these here could be used as little tabs in like your planners and things or even on a card so yeah I've got a few ideas to do to use them we've got the bunting really really like those it's nice to have something a little bit different these are your envelopes so these are like your tags um, or kind of like little sentiment things to write on and they will go inside here and then these will fold in on themselves again I'll be showing this all in more detail in a tutorial and then again you've got the same there in other designs you've got all these little kind of note cards here to do list just a little note to say I like those this is another kind of like just a little envelope little sleeve and you've got little bits that you can pop in there. I love that one there with the custard cream. It's a bit more of a real kind of life-size size of a biscuit there. These are the papers and you get one, two, yeah, two of each design. So you've got the row of all the biscuits there and then you've got this one. That's a really nice one. I like that one a lot. And that one there. Again, you can easily make gift bags out of these. This one here. That would make a nice scrapbook layout. Yeah, that's really cool because you've already got your border kind of set out for you. And then you've got that one there. Donuts, brilliant. Love it. You've got the sprinkles. And then just some real nice backgrounds. So you've got the blue, you've got the green there, and I think, yeah, the pink. So that's nice. And then it finishes with vellum. So, and they all just have these little perforations along here so you can just pull them out. So you've got this beautiful one there. My favourite is coming up. I love that one. That's brilliant. Really fun. And then sprinkles. And then that yellow one. So in that pack, you have everything you need if you want to do like a party, you know, all your party favours and things like that. It's just everything. So I thought that was a really handy one to have and I can't wait to share some fun tutorials with that one. And then this one here, I just absolutely adored the palette for this one. And it's not something I've really got so this is called a touch of romance it's by the paper tree it's made in the uk you get 40 sheets 160 gsm it's all 12 by 12 and it's single-sided which i don't mind so i like single-sided because then you don't have to decide what one you want to use <laughs> so i'm just going to pop it on its side here and it's just really really beautiful like i said palette of colors so it's all water colored so again which is what i like so it shows you each single one first so you've got this design and then you've got a polka dot so again that will work really nice together these here are just ready to do scrapbook layouts with you've got the beautiful corners there but also that would look nice as the front of a gift bag if you do one of my 12 by 12 gift bags you can have that as just one side and then add do like a deconstructed version which it is that i show you so that'll look great this one here again beautiful and you've got the stripes so you can see how well that works together and then this one here and then another one there with the borders again looks really nice that one there love those sprigs just think they're really cute and then that one there and that's the start again isn't it that was the yeah so back to the beginning again so that is you get yeah like i said one two three four five six seven eight designs love it absolutely love it so i'm going to be making yeah like i said lots of nice gift bags and some scrapbook layouts with that one there so that is everything that i have chosen from craft stash and all of the videos will be on their way you may have even seen a few before this video goes out so i will share all the links to this product um, below and if you already have some of this let me know if, what you've done with it and uh, what you think and uh, yeah I can't wait to start crafting with it all and then the second delivery I received was from Arteza so again those of you that follow me regularly know that I'm currently collaborating with them and um, yeah I regularly get to choose product and share it with you guys so it was actually really nice because it was an introduction to Arteza for myself I hadn't used their products before and I've been really really pleased with everything that I've received they get great re reviews themselves their customer service is excellent so it's been really nice working with them and I hope I continue to do so so what I've chose this time is I have my craft knife that I use I've got a couple and they're okay you know there's nothing really wrong with them but I've just got this real kind of fear that I'm just going to one day really cut myself. It's just something that is, yeah, it's just, 
I always in, in knives in general I'm just not very good with things like that so they have this architect triangular scale ruler 12 inches and I thought it's metal which is great so I'll just slide it out there so the reason I thought this is going to work well for when I'm using my knife is I can hold it at a height so I can pinch the top of this and push down and the knife will cut along the bottom here and it's away from my fingers so if I slip that knife it, the likelihood of me cutting myself is very slim so I thought it's going to work really well for that now you've got inches and centimeters and there's other bits on there which I probably won't ever use but um, like I said it's an architect triangular <laughs> scale so there will be other bits on there that will yeah not mean anything to me but I've got my inches there so that'd be the one that I will use the most along with my centimeters and then with that I put there hobby craft knife set so in here you get a real nice variety of blades and knives to choose and the one that stood out for me so you get this little self-healing mat which is the same as my Arteza mat here it's obviously just a smaller version I love this mat you see it it's, I use it all the time it's in all my tutorials and it's yeah it's working really well I need to give it a clean but yeah other than that it's fine so in here you get your three kind of knives and then you get a selection of all these different blades and there's a magnetic strip so they won't fall out and then there's all the blades in here as well. But I liked these straight edged ones here, you've got the thicker and the thinner. Sometimes when I'm cutting papers and you get to the very end you want to just be able to cut it off without cutting further, these kind of straight edged ones are great for that. But the one that I like the most is this one here, believe it or not, because it's, I feel like I'm, I've really got control of it. It's nice and big and I can grip it. I have other ones like this and I know you have the grip here, but they're quite, just quite s slippery. Um, and when you're using a knife, again, it just petrifies me, but I need to use them when I'm working with certain materials. But this one here, and already I feel so much more confident now just using this and holding this. I've got so much more control and I can just slide that. Let me grab some cardstock. Okay, so I can use the ruler to actually hold my paper in place as well. I'm going to use the grid underneath, kind of line everything up straight. But I don't know, everything just feels a bit more comfortable now than before. So now I can just push down the ruler onto the cardstock and then with my knife here, I'm going to butt that right up to the ruler and it just cuts again really nicely so it cuts like my other knives do you know it's a nice sharp knife but in terms of me feeling safer and in more control that does feel and this feels so much better so yeah you're going to see this featuring more and it will probably now make me feel more comfortable to use more chipboard and use the knife and stuff with other projects because sometimes I do if I think I've got to use it I'm a little bit like oh I don't want to but yeah it's and even without it I mean I can obviously cut away there like so but it's yeah it's really sharp <laughs> it's a knife back there as well it does list all of the um, information about the different blades there as well so it actually tells you there for heavy duty chiseling uh, close corner cuts so I'll look at that in a bit more detail and like I said I will talk about it in more detail this was really just to show you what I've got um, then I picked up this one here so I did start opening it and then realized that that is literally the packaging it comes in so I'm gonna have to I've got, I've got a big drawer for these and this is your 30 adhesive felt sheets now I'm hoping that these are going to die cut so that is the intention to use these because I thought how nice and look at the colors such a variety and on the back you've got your coating there which you peel off and then it'll be sticky underneath but things like the green you've got some real cool like moss green I'm hoping that they will die cut in like some some of my leaf dyes and I'll be able to use them on my cards and on my gift bags and things like that and they'll add some real nice texture to to uh, my projects and you've got some great neon colors at the back there but again you've got a real nice variety they're A4 and I just thought yeah it'd be nice to use a different texture when I'm crafting so like with most of our taser stuff you get your you know your packaging there with your little kind of swatch of all the colors over the top there so real nice mix and yeah i'm really looking forward to trying them then i picked up their 12 by 12 self-adhesive vinyl sheets and i'm really pleased with these i've already had a sneak peek and again well you can see the colors that is literally all on the front there all your different colors but i didn't realize i mean i'm sure it says somewhere let me have a look on the back here actually um see it says gold and brushed gold but i don't know for some reason i didn't think that they were going to be gold gold like i 
well, like I'm going to show you, it's so nice. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to use it. So I have some great ideas to use these with my Cricut machine, but you can also die cut this. At least I think you can. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure you can die cut. I'll put a little thing up here that just to kind of confirm that yes or no you count, but I'm pretty sure you can. Um, but these are going to be mainly used with my Cricut and I have some fun decorative ideas to use all of these lovely, well, lots of them anyway, lots of these colours. So yeah, that will all be coming soon. And then lastly, I was so excited to receive these. And again, thank you Arteza for sending these to me. These are the 60 Everblend art markers. So these are your alcohol markers. Yeah, I don't do alcohol colouring. It's not something, you know, I, I do have. I've got Spectrum Noir. I've got the touch pens. And I just kind of thought, you know, I like to do my water colouring. I like colouring. I think I'm pretty good at blending and things like that so why not try the alcohol markers and kind of look into it a little bit more these ones here are the 60 but they do also do 120 and they have doubled their kind of color options this is perfect for someone that hasn't really used alcohol markers a lot this for me already just seems like it's going to be enough then over time if I really start to get into this a bit more seriously then I guess I'll be like everybody else and I'll be feeling that I want a bit more in that color or, and so on and so forth but first impressions you get this really nice carry case which is great again if you're on the move and if you're limited on storage they're already stored for you and you can hang this up if you need to um, you have the velcro sides here and then it opens up to show all of your markers again I'm not going to go into it in too much detail I'm not going to do all the swatches and stuff I'm going to do a separate tutorial for that I just wanted to show you what you get here and this bit in the middle you can take out completely which I thought was quite nice so again you can take all that bulk off your desk and you can just have this with this side here so yeah I thought that was quite good and they are dual tip so you have your chiseled tip and then you've got your fine tip there and it's easy to obviously tell between the two because you've got the different or you've got the little images there but also you've got the color ring on that end so I would always remember it's a triangular barrel so again it's nice to hold and you've got the colors on the end so if you do take that tip off and you've got more out you know that you're going to put it back on the right pen clicking really nice they're not too difficult to take off just standard you want them to be tight enough because you don't want there to be any air in them so yeah, I'm really excited to use these. I've received a lot of stamps. Obviously, I've got all those lovely stamps that I received from Craft Stash, and I my intention is to use the alcohol markers with a lot of them. And um, yeah, try and try and start to really enjoy using these instead of my watercolors. I mean, I'm never going to not enjoy my watercolors, but it is nice to always try something new. So yeah, watch this space. So a proper video on these on their own will be coming so I know a lot of you do like that and I will be going into more detail and giving my kind of first thoughts on it all but um, first impressions are really really good okay so again I can't get everything in it's just it's all too big but um, yeah it's been um, I've not brought anything this week but I've been given quite a bit so again I'm incredibly thankful to the companies that have sent me this product I can't wait to yeah just bring you some really nice tutorials introduce you to product that you may not have heard of or seen before because that's the kind of thing I like to watch on, watch on YouTube is is different things so hopefully yeah for some of you this will be um, new things that you've seen I will share all the links with everything that I've shared with you today and yeah just watch out for the videos so like I said you may have seen already a couple that I might have got up before this one goes out because this is um I pre-record a lot of my stuff so yeah until then uh give me a thumbs up if you like what I've shared today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more and I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye